welcome to day 12 of making Disney treats. Today we're going to be making giant cinnamon rolls. Which you can find in Gaston's Tavern in Fantasyland in the Magic Kingdom in Florida. That was a lot of ins there but yes you can find them in Walt Disney World in Florida. So we're very excited to make these or I am. You've never tried these before. These are honestly like the most amazing things ever. I love a cinnamon roll and the ones you can get in Gaston's Tavern are just the best. So very excited. What I've done is I've put some butter and milk on to melt. So it's one and a half cups of milk with half a cup of butter and that's melting away just now. So the next things we're gonna add in for the dough, this is all for the dough part of it, is we need to add in some flour, yeast, sugar, salt, water, eggs, and yeah, that's it for the dough. So we're gonna crack on doing that. in half, half at a time. So I'm going to dry this. Half at a time. So how many of these might we have to put in? If it's four full cups of flour and this is half, so how many do you think of these we might need? How many? Eight. Of, well done! High five! If four plus four is eight. in enough flour so we only needed seven half cups instead of eight um, and now we just got to knead it so it's very messy are you gonna have a try We've got to leave it for 10 minutes to rise. So we're gonna do that and make the filling while we're waiting. So for the filling, we need two cups of brown sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and one cup of butter. So we're gonna add all of that into this bowl and give it a good old mix. So we've made like a butter, sugar, cinnamon paste that we're gonna spread on top of the dough when it's ready. So we're just waiting for the dough to rise and then we can start doing the next step. That's been 10 minutes and it's risen quite well. So we're now going to roll it out into a rectangle shape add on the cinnamon sugar butter mixture and then roll it up and cut it into the cinnamon rolls. Ooh. Oh, like I like feeling it, have a little feel. Oh. It's like nice, it's like a pillow. Yeah. But oven 
tray and we are going to cut it. I don't know if, how well you can see what we've done, but we've done like a really big long roll and all the cinnamon paste is inside there. So we're going to cut it. Cut time. Now at Gaston's Tavern, they are really, really like big. Um, so this is kind of what we've got. I don't know if there's enough roll in there or what. We've never made them before. But we're just giving it a good bash. So yeah. Yeah, we've... I don't know how well you can see that, but it's all nice and rolled. Yeah, we've never made any of my foods. So I'm going to sit... No, we've never made any of these before. No. Nope. I'm going to sit this here. And I'm going to pass them to you and you are going to sit put them on the tray. So we've got our lovely cinnamon rolls in the tray, ready to go. They are all different sizes, but we're not bothered, are we? Mm -mm. No, we're just excited to try them. Yep. So they're going to go in the oven. I'm not sure for how long. And once they're ready, we have to make a cream cheese frosting that goes over the top and then a toffee sauce or a, um, oh, we'll have a look while these are cooking and we'll let you know, but it's a butterscotch, maybe a butterscotch sauce. I don't know, but we've got to make them anyway to go over the top, but we're excited. We just want to eat them because it smells good already. Yeah. And I'm definitely going to have that one, the first one. The first one? Yep. Just, I'll eat them all. Right, we'll see you when they're cooked. Okay, so I have learned a valuable lesson today. Every day is a learning day. And you should really read the recipe the whole way through before you start, or you could miss out some important steps. Luckily, I've not missed out anything because I went and read the recipe after being a bit confused about what topping goes on. So luckily, I discovered that I needed to pour some melted butter over them. So that's them all nicely covered in some melted butter and leave them to rest for 30 minutes because they might rise a bit more. So I did end up separating them onto two different trays because they were very tightly packed in the one and I didn't want them just merging together. I wanted separate rolls. But I know that you can do that where you put them all in one tray and let them merge together while they cook. And that does look really nice as well. But we're going for rolls today because that's what the recipe tells us to do. So yeah, I'm gonna let them rise for 30 minutes and then put them on for 20 minutes in the oven and then cover them with tin foil for 10 minutes and cook them for a further 10. So this should take about 30 minutes in total to cook. Then we make a cream cheese frosting that'll go over it and then a butterscotch sauce that gets topped over the frosting. So very excited. Oh, they're gonna be amazing, I think. They look amazing. So hopefully they taste amazing. But yeah, lesson learned for today. Always read the recipe. <laughs> That's the cinnamon rolls in the oven. So we're putting them on for 20 minutes. The timer will go. And then after 20 minutes, we'll cover them with tin foil and bake them for another 10 minutes. So that should stop them burning, but still cook all the way into the middle because they are massive. So they need that little bit of extra time with the tin foil on. So we're making the cream cheese frosting next. So we've got Philadelphia, and butter and we're just melting it in the pan and when that's melted we're going to add in some icing sugar some vanilla extract and a little bit of salt and that's the frosting finished so we're doing that to start. frosting and we're just going to sit it to the side and make the butterscotch sauce. Here we go.
and rolled out of the oven. I do think we probably could have taken them out a bit sooner. But that's something we can learn from. But they look amazing. How good do they look? They look amazing. They look amazing. So we're going to add on the cream cheese frosting and the butterscotch sauce. lovely cinnamon roll here's one off I thought because they'd all merged together it was going to be a bit of a struggle to get it out of the pan but it turns out it just slid out so nicely because of all the beautiful juices at the bottom from all the melted butter so ready yeah let's try oh a big spoonful now these are massive so you could make them smaller if you wanted to. We just decided to make them like they are in Gastron's Tavern and they are literally this big. But I think in future we'd make smaller ones and maybe not pile as many onto the tray as we have done. Yeah. But let's go. Just a small bite and it's already delicious. That's amazing. Without a doubt, this is my favourite. 100% this is my favourite. Okay, now I know nothing can beat this. <laughs> I don't think anything will beat this either. This is, in your words, one million out of a million. Ten million out Ten of million. one. It's so good. If you're going to make any of the things that we've made so far, make this. I thought I wouldn't be able to finish a whole one because they're massive, but I can see me demolishing this. So we're going to go and demolish this cinnamon roll. So good. And we will see you for day 13. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like our video and give us a thumbs, thumbs up. up and a subscribe. And we'll see you all later. Bye. Bye. To let them do their business for 30 minutes. I'm away to melt some butter over them. I think that'll help give it a really nice colour on the outside. Ooh! Oh.